Clare, Dwar and Reyes, attended Edwards Primary School in Castle Dergis and <coughs> Grammar School, a former councillor of the Cosy Coast of Glens Council, and has played a significant and active role in Derg Victims United. I'm pleased to introduce Trevor Clark, your West Tyrone TUV candidate. <laughs>
who had been a sergeant whilst they served together in the Ulster Defence Regiment. Another early 1970s victim was an atheist bomb disposal officer killed as he attempted to disarm an IRA device abandoned close to a Presbyterian church. The remainder of those murdered by Republicans in Castle Air were from the Unionist community, and they included the first UDR soldier and the 100th and then youngest RUC officer to be murdered, as well as a grandmother on the UDR Green Finch. The IRA murdered men starting out in life and grandfathers on the brink of retirement. They shot fathers in front of their sons and killed sons in front of their mothers. They ambushed family men going to work in the morning and young men coming home from a night out with friends. They hid bones beside the bodies of their victims and bone parents to gloat at the murder of their child. Conference Castanet's story isn't unique, but the Union's community there suffered enormously. Each murder or bombing prompted calls for copper security and a crackdown on the terrorists. And after any ensuring surge in security force activity had faded, the inevitable next attack followed. A seemingly unbreakable sequence of violence and horror continued. And the fact, ladies and gentlemen, that 95% of murders linked by motive and tactics carried out in a small town in a short period of time remain unsolved is a cataclysmic failure of our criminal justice system. Yeah. It's even more remarkable is the continuing failure of the agencies of the state to address the investigative figures of the so-called troubles and revisit these today, which the police ombudsman has reportedly reported recently on its investigations into accusations of state collusion and murders stretching from Castledare to Korean. It has done nothing to address the obvious, the 15 murders carried out by the same terrorist gang in a small town over a six year period. This is unsustainable, unfair and totally unjust. Former British soldiers are being pursued in relation to allegations about misconduct during their service here, keeping the peace. There is no similar examination of the role of the Irish state yeah. in the Troubles. Yeah. 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 This included negligence that eased the IRA's ability to conduct terrorist operations and thereby prolong the violence, as well as active assistance that created victims and continues to deny justice to this day. Ladies and gentlemen, a key reason for the IRA's ability to wage such an incessant and deadly terror campaign in the area of the border was because of that border of the Irish Republic. A myriad of unapproved border crossings, officially closed but often passable, created a huge tactical advantage for the terrorists. IRA terror gangs were able to come and go as they pleased, launching deadly attacks in Northern Ireland before melting into the safety sympathizers' houses in the Republic of Ireland. In that safe haven, they were also able to build bombs, store weapons, train and rest up, largely because of the indifferent attitude of successive Irish governments to the issue of border security. This is demonstrated not only through <coughs> the permeable nature of security on the Republic side of the border, but also by the Irish constitutional position on extradition and the arms crisis involving Irish ministers. So conference, it's easy to see why the vast majority of IRA gun bomb attacks and targets in Castle Derrick and in many other border areas could emanate from or conclude in the jurisdiction of the Irish Republic. And it is clear that the relationship between the Irish state and the modern IRA is persistently overlooked in analysis of legacy issues and it deserves much greater attention. attention. <laughs> suffer and suffer because of its actions or inactions. 
Conference, the people of Northern Ireland have endured much, and many families continue to bear unimaginable pain as a result of the actions of others. To remove any prospect of justice is a step too far in any first world democracy. Yeah. Yeah.